Hi and welcome to lesson four. In this particular lesson, we are going to learn how to use our USB key. We are going to save files and folders and move them from one disk to the other. For this lesson, I have created a folder called module four. This will refer to all files and folders which are used within this particular lesson. For this exercise, we're going to go into the my files and we're going to open up the documents folder that we've been using all along. So for this, I'm going to go into documents and I'm going to open the documents folder. Now, as you would see, this is the documents folder we've been using from the beginning. This we can maximize or resize our windows by using the restore down button and we can also change the size of the window to suit ourselves. The reason we're doing this is we're going to open two windows to get on this particular lesson. The next one we're going to open is we're going to put our USB key here it is here and we're going to put it into the side of the computer into the USB port. When we put this in the computer will automatically recognize that the key has been put in. You may get a window like this if you've had it open before but chances are once you put it in and the computer recognizes it you will get a box that will say um, options for this USB and you will say view files then you will get this window here to move any window that opens or resize we can restore down which I've already have this done and then we can click on the top of any box this is the active box it's pink and I'm going to move it over to the side. If we're not 100% sure with the size, if you hover around the side of it, you'll get these two little arrows and you can make it the size you want. Now, this for us is our uh, removable disk, which is our USB drive. So if you have a look down here, slightly shaded is removable disk E. For this module, because it's module 4, I've created a folder called module 4. You can create a folder called exercises, called college work, whatever you want to do. So I'm going to click on that and now we're inside this and this is the folder we're going to use. As you can see from the My Documents folder over here, if I click on this, I make this one active. And this is the one that we've been using all along. We have all our folders, English, Geography, History and Maths. Now today for this purpose, I'm going to say we were in English. Right, so we're going to go into the English folder and into Essays. Now we're going to do an essay. If I wanted that essay to be in my folder over here, I wanted to do some work on it in college and bring it into work. I can just click on it the way we would have on the original one and right click and copy. And I can paste it over into our new folder. Yeah, and paste. So now it's on the USB drive and this is our USB drive and we're in module 4 on our USB that you see there removable disk right so we're in here now easiest way for you to do it we can do that with any essay or any work and then we can bring it into college and continue to work on it so there is there in that one the easiest thing to do is go back over to our my documents folder and go back using our explorer over the over in the left hand pane and we go back into the documents And my documents, this is the one I want. So if we look back, a documents folder is up here. And I'm going to, on the side of it, if I click on the arrow, make sure I have the right one. Click on the little arrow here, and there we have it there. So if I right click on this, just to begin with, and I copy, I'm going to copy the whole folder as is, rather than one file. I'm going to come over here. I'm going to make sure I'm in the active window. Right click. And I'm going to paste. Now what happens here is all the files from the document, if I click on documents now, and I'm within the module 4 folder, you can see I'm in module 4, I have documents, and I have, you could, that could be called college work in yours, and I have English, geography, history, maths, and everything I had within them folders, copies over. So there we are there. Now I'm going to just go back to module 4, I click on this. And as I can see, the essay that I originally brought over as one document is here. So I'm just going to delete that. I don't really need that. I have the up-to-date version in. You'll get a message to say, do I want to delete it? In my document. So the documents folder here is the exact same as the document folder that is over here. Now, so for this minute, I'm just going to minimize my documents folder. 
and I imagine now I'm in college, I put in my key into the computer and this is what I have. The very same documents I had at home. I go into my English, I work on the essay, it's up here, I'm going to just do work on the essay which would be So I've worked on it in work and then I save because I've opened it from the drive I can save it. And I close. So now I'm going to go back down here and as you can see there's two lots open. So I'm going to open this one which is essay and as you can see from down here I'm still in the removable disk, the removable drive. So I'm going to actually have that work saved now and it's on my key so I'm going to go home. When I get home I'm going to put my key back into the other computer and I'm going to get the documents folder which is here. So I'm going to open up my documents folder and if I open the English essay here I'll see that the work I've done today isn't on it, it's just the original copy. So what I need to do now is copy this copy over to here. As I've only worked on English essay I'm just going to go into the English folder into essays and I'm going to just pull this over onto the into the documents folder. If I worked on a lot of things during the day I could just pull the whole folder back in and it would update as it goes. As you'll see now if I pick up this one and drag it over here I will get a message say the destination already has a file called essays.1 replaced with this file to the destination. I do want to do this because I want the newer version now to be over here on my home version and if I click it open and Microsoft Word opens and the work I've done in college is here. Just try and make sure that any work you do in college you update on your own computer as you're going to use it. Um, so that's your work after being brought home from college, put your USB key back in and transfer it back over. So always make sure to try update your work as you go along. Thank you. You now have a small assignment to do and please any feedback will be gratefully appreciated.